Hi, it's Maxine Kay with the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living here with another love note. Happy to be with you as always. Uh, completed class number two of my four week alive in Aceless class tonight, and what a delight it is. These people are so wonderful. They're open and growing, and, and uh, we're having a wonderful time. One of the things that we were discussing tonight was about energy and how it's all energy. God is energy. This universe is comprised of energy. It's who you and I are. It's flowing through us. And we direct this energy. We direct it for good or for not so good, depending on how conscious we are at the time that we're focusing our thoughts and our feelings on whatever feels important to us. So knowing that everything is energy and it transforms it makes it easier for us to stand, to understand that we can change conditions by changing the energy in our consciousness. Because as we do that, it moves from perhaps a limited um, expression to one that is expansive and filled with freedom. Everything is energy. You and I are comprised of it. Of course, when we breathe in that divine life, it energizes us. When we breathe out, we feel relaxed and peaceful. There's something wonderful about breathing. Please don't stop. <laughs> and it's just another way that, that this divine life moves through us. So let's think each time that we are looking at a situation in our lives, that there is within it and behind it, whatever that condition may be, that pure energy of spirit and you and I, as co-creators with God, have the ability to move that energy any way we choose. Let's make the right choices and move it into higher perspectives, into a greater consciousness, into a greater vision and a greater realization that this world is something that is waiting for us to make even more beautiful. And we can do that. We must do it. First of all, by not getting too caught up in the conditions that are happening. And maybe even more, first of all, remembering who you are, that the spirit of the divine within you is that precious energy which is waiting only for your clear direction and my clear direction. So let's keep our energy high. Let's keep our thoughts and our vision on that which is real, that which is true, that which is eternal. We have good work to do. Let's keep doing it, okay? Tomorrow you'll get to hear from Reverend Mike. I want you to have a wonderful evening, and we'll be with you again very soon. Bye for now.